So this is how to download Chrome browser and then be able to sign into it. So first I'm going to type into the Google uh, Chrome browser. Then I'm going to go to the first one. So get a fast free web browser. So download Chrome. All right, set Google Chrome as my default. I'll make by I don't, yeah. You can if you want. You don't have to. All right, I want to save the file. I'll let it think for a moment. Then I'm going to open what I downloaded and hit run. Now, if you're at school, the tech guys, Tim and Mike, can download it for you on your work computer. However, you can do this at home, and you'll actually be able to get all of your bookmarks that you use at school on your home computer and what you have at home on your school computer. That's why I am in love with Google and Chrome right now, because I don't have to save in both locations. I can save at one and get it in the other. So now we wait for it to download. And hopefully it doesn't take forever. Almost there, hopefully. Okay. So now after it stops thinking, let's see if it's now on my computer. Oh, so it opens up on its own now that we've downloaded it. And we wait. And we wait. So if you go up, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you go up to that person up in the upper right, so it's a sign into Chrome. So this is where you want to sign in using your Google account. I use my school Google account because that's primarily what I'm using it for. So it'll let you sign in once it pops up. All right, so I'm going to sign in. Okay. And because it's through my school account and doesn't have Google at the end, it thinks it's not right, so you have to do it twice. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I don't need to do that. So. So now, if you clicked up at the top, you see that I am signed in. All right. And... It will import my book. See, I didn't even have to click it. Up at the top, all my bookmarks are up here that I use for school or use at school. And also, I have created a theme.
that is green so I definitely know I am signed into my account. Now if you have multiple accounts you can switch your person. So I have like three different Google accounts I use for school and personal. So I'm going to say add a person. And we wait. It's usually not this slow. It's just because my internet stinks at home. And if you notice in the upper left hand corner, it does say it's doing Chrome sign in. All right, so now I'm going to sign in with my other account. I'm not really sure if that's the right password. Oh, and there we are. So there's my other account. And shortly after, it will load all of my bookmarks. Yep, see there they are. And so this is for my other account. So for this is my personal, so I have a lot less bookmarks. And you can switch back and forth. That's what's great is if I click that other I can add an account or I can switch my accounts if I go up here. So this is why it's great is I can go back and forth very easily from one account to another all through using Google. And my, pa er, my passwords are saved plus all my bookmarks are saved. So I hope this gets you to use Google Chrome browser.